how do we make that jump though from military to studying science? So I, I had a training accident in the military, which cut short that career path. So I came back to Chicago and enrolled at a community college. And within a few months was introduced to the curator of fishes at the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago. And when I initially met him, uh, you know, one of the things that museum fish collections have, in addition to lots of jars of preserved fish, um, is that they've got lots of fish skeletons. So he opened a cabinet that was full of cleaned fish skeletons pulled out a drawer with this massive skull from uh, what's called a, a paku, which is a uh, South American carassiform fish. It's in the same family as piranhas. Okay. And he asked me what it was. And I knew what it was, but that was the first time I had seen one that large. So I guess my eyes got really big and I must have like inhaled sharply. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's not paku paku. Right. And so he hired me on the spot because I knew I knew what the, what the fish skull was. <laughs>